Hey church, if we haven't met yet, my name's Travis. I serve as senior pastor at MCC. During the week following Thanksgiving in early December, the Supreme Court of the United States is scheduled to hear arguments in Dobbs versus Jackson's Women's Health. This is a case which, when ultimately decided next summer, has the potential to dramatically impact laws that relate to the unborn. In addition, there are a couple of Texas cases that have gotten a lot of press recently as well. So I wanted to let you know that on Sunday, November 21st, we will be pausing our sermon series through John and instead taking a Sunday to look at this topic through a biblical framework. Now, I have learned that every time we take sermon time to engage with a major cultural moment, there will be a pocket of folks in the church family who don't think we should do so. I love every one of those people, and I respectfully disagree. Here's why. The gospel is not a get-out-of-hell-free card, concerned only with our heavenly destination. The gospel is news of Christ's historical death and resurrection as an atonement for sinners. The gospel offers both life eternal and life transformation. Therefore, a Christian world and life view that does not speak to hard issues is hardly Christian at all. For instance, in 2015, prior to the Obergefell versus Hodges gay marriage decision, we took time on Sunday morning. In 2020, following the murder of George Floyd and intense racial upheaval, we took time on Sunday morning. And November 21st, we will do so once again. That said, I did not want to surprise you with this on the day that we teach about it. November 21st, I'm going to do my level best to speak clearly, graciously, and biblically about the practice of abortion. It is, of course, so hard in America to talk about these things without immediately filtering what we hear through a political lens, but we're going to try and use a biblical lens instead. On November 21st, morning children's programming will be available, like always, through third grade. I will try and preach in a way that's appropriate for upper elementary uh, and above, but optional fourth grade, fifth grade, and up programming will be made available. You can register for that using a link in our weekly email called The Connector. And of course, your knowledge of this planned topic should inform how we think about worship invitations that day to friends, neighbors, and coworkers. So, there you have it. Now you know it. Sunday, November 21st, prior to Thanksgiving weekend, before the Christmas season. Until then, text, call, email with any questions. But for now, you pray for me, and I'll pray for you.